It's been a couple of hours since um, police and city engineering services have started removing the tents uh, along East Hastings here. And there's obviously a very large presence. You can see the cops still behind me. Tensions running very high here on the downtown east side. And I've just actually spotted um, a city councilor, Pete Fry. He's with the Green Party, not part of Majority Council, which is ABC Vancouver, where the mayor is from. Um, I think it'll be interesting to hear what he has to say. Let's head over. Did you come here to make sure everyone's being safe and treated equally? It wasn't you. I just came down here to I came down here to observe. He was you observe? You. He's denying it, the global guy. Really? That's, 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 that's what you wanted to do? Yes, I'm literally here to observe. Don't you want to find a solution so you don't have to come observe this once a year? I thought there was supposed to be equal housing for everyone, and I just took a little stroll down Hastings like my plan was, and I found out that there's no one handing out BC housing applications. All right, well, that's part of why I'm here then. If there's nobody being well, offered, you were here offered to be housing. So you've seen the anger. Problem. What are you going to say back to the mayor? What, no. waste of money. Why is not the mayor here? This well, is what he wants. He wants all the cameras. I'm here to sort of observe, find out what people are saying, what's happening, exactly. if we're finding housing for folks. Right. What are you going to take back to city council from this then? Well, I'm going to check with our staff and make sure that, in fact, there is... That, that that part of the operation, that housing shelter for folks is being observed, right. that so we, we are creating a, a safer situation for some of the stuff that we're seeing. We know that there's been an uptick in fires and violence, and those are kind of issues that we do also have to address. But do you think we shelters have kinda, that have bed bugs, that have you know bullet holes in the well, walls, that have you know, frankly, no running water? that's the case with a lot of SROs as well. Exactly. Right? So, so is that I was that just at an illegal housing? eviction of an SRO just around the corner. There are so many systemic problems with housing in the downtown east side in the city of Vancouver that we as a city can't solve alone, so that's why we're working with BC Housing, working with the province. You know, we're here, where were we, Columbia and East Hastings. Um, what we just saw with Councillor Pete Fry come down here, people really angry, understandably, and now it looks like police are moving down the street and are expecting more things to clear. Are you going to pack up your tent, you think? How come? Why? That's where I live. <laughs> I'm not going. Where else am I going to go? If I repack it up, I'll put it right back again. Can I ask you where you're going to bring all your stuff to now? Don't know. Don't know? Probably go to the alley. Probably go to the alley? Probably go ahead. Where was your tent before? Right here? Yeah. Did you think about sticking around? Do you think it was possible? Well, I'm going to go to the alley, and when they're gone, I'm going to come right back here. I've been here since this place wasn't even here. When I, I've been here for 30 years. And do you see a solution out of this? Just get us a better place to live. You're, you've got a business here in the heart of all of it. Yeah. And I see you've got your room because you do try and keep the storefront clean. Yeah, exactly. The storefront and yeah. anything we can. Yeah, yeah and we you're to. helping some very vulnerable people. You yeah. guys run a pharmacy And here. that's exactly the case too, right? Because we're actually a pharmacy for the community. So and so, you know, what are your helping. thoughts seeing all of this go down? Uh, it's tough. It's a uh, double-edged sword, right? We, uh, we obviously want to have the same respect given to us, so to keep the front clear, to not have to be fighting every morning. Yeah. And uh, you know, particularly a lot of our patients are trying to get off opiates, so when you have someone in front smoking and then swearing at you when you're just asking them to move. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and although we do understand it, it's, uh, it's, it's tough for us, right? Because we want to sympathize, but at the same time, we want to create a safe environment for our own patients. No one wants to see anyone be homeless, right? Of course, it's, it's tough, but uh, at the same time, if you're going to be camping out in front of a business, at least have the same sort of uh, respect. Almost every morning, because we, we start, we're actually the first pharmacy open in Vancouver, so we open at uh, 6 a.m., so we're here at 5.30, and that's before there's really any police or anybody to sort of like circumvent any issues. And uh, oftentimes we're like, you know, getting into arguments um, first thing in the morning just to get inside. So that's sort of been our big, big issue. Right. And you know, we want to support it, but at the same time, right? Like, what do you do? This is actually the, the cleanest that I've seen um, East Hastings in weeks, GP maybe months. Um, and so clearly, you know, it was effective in that sense that, you know, the streets are clear, but you can see that people were just coming up to the alley. You can see people are, are setting up um, in the alley now because essentially they have nowhere to go. And that's what we keep hearing, right? People keep saying that the tents are going to come back in a couple of days because there's no place for, one th for them to go. So we'll see if this cleanup actually sticks.